I am Mary Ellen Yates with the Little Road Mary Ellen Yates and this video is basic knot tying for dresses. I'm super excited to show this. It's a little behind. I've had some requests for it, but here it is. So I have a Carly dress on, um, on right now. Um, a Carly dress fits your shoulders and then flows down. This looks great on many different body types. Um, I'm about 5'2", about 140 pounds, um, larger chested, larger um, shoulders, and I wear an extra small to a small. I do find with the small that I can play around with it more with knot tying. So if you wear a couple of sizes, the larger size you can um, play around with more, or if you really love a pattern, but it's in a size that just looks a little too big for you, if you play around with the knotting, you can also wear it too. So this is great. The Carly is a very versatile piece, um, and there's a lot of fabric to play with, but it's also a super flowy piece, so you get to breathe underneath, too. So anyway, enough about the Carly. You can watch my Carly video for that, but this is some um, knot tying. So a Carly also is a low high, so you can see how it's longer in the back than it is in the front. So a top, um, these are like my two go-to knots that I do very often with a Carly. I go down my leg and I pick up the end. I go like this. I just like slide it between my hands and I twirl it. I circle it around and then I, t and then I push in the tie. So I just make a little knot. And I put it right down my leg. If you're, um, you can do this with or without leggings. Um, I have leggings on underneath so you don't see anything if um, my dress comes up a little higher than I usually like it to come up. Um, but people will wear this with or without leggings and it just gives, you can see how it, it makes, it has, creates lines in the fabric and it creates a different flow of the dress. So you can do this with one knot and you can move the knot wherever you would like. Um, that just tends to be where I tend to like it. You can also, um, you have seams on both sides of your Carly. So if you want to do a double knot, I always go with, I find my seam. I twirl it again, like I did before. And I do a knot. I try and make a little smaller knot for this since I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. But you can see how it goes down. You can also have it to the side if you like prefer it more on your side. Then I find my other seam and I twirl it again. And I tie it. And I really love this look. It's almost like having a slit. It gives a little rounded shape to it and I think it's really cute and it creates some lines as well. Those are my ones that I do the most often, but there are definitely many other looks you can do with the Carly. So another one that's super popular that a lot of people ask how to do is the um, flower knot. So with the Carly, um, I did an Irma video or a top video. The Carly has a lot more fabric to it. So I tend to use two different um, bands. So I use just like if you get my leggings, I do these um, ponytail holders with my leggings. So I use this as the base a lot of times because it's just thicker, but you can do any kind of, um, you can do a rubber band, you can do anything that's a little bit thicker. So what you do is pretty much wherever you want your flower to be, that's where you're going to pull the fabric. So I probably want it like upper thigh. So I'm going to pull it out, I'm pulling it out, and then I'm bringing it in, and then I'm tying a knot. And this is where the more fabric you have, the easier it is to do this. So if the Carly is more fitted, then you're not going to have, have as much room to play with your um, fabric. And then it creates this. And really, you could just tuck this in, this end, in here. And it would look super cute like that if you wanted to do that. See that close? But also, what you can do, what a lot of people do, is you take it the sides and you kind of flatten it. So then you have like this flat circle. And now I'm using, I have the large poly bands 
I got these at Walgreens, but you can find it pretty much any place that you can get elastic bands. And they're just the little clear plastic bands. And I take that. And when you flatten it, you're going to feel the bump from where you did the initial ponytail or um, tie. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that middle section and I'm going to use the elastic band to go over that middle section. And I only needed like two times before it worked. And there you go, you have a flower. And then you can play around with the flower to make it however you want it. Like if it's too hot, if it's too much at the front, you can tuck a little bit more underneath your ponytail or whatever to get like the exact look that you want. But there is your flower. Super, super easy. Another thing that you can do is you can create ruching from beneath, from underneath your carly. So, one that sometimes I'll do, I'm going to take off my necklace. I always wear a long necklace when I wear a carly because, um, because of the high neckline, I feel like it needs a long necklace to keep that long look and with like the looseness of the dress. But anyway, so one that I like to do is I will take fabric around pretty much like um, between my breasts and I go underneath the dress, grab the fabric, and this is one of the reasons that I have um, leggings underneath. And then you take, and then you just kind of make a ponytail. You just take some of the fabric and then you make a pony just like you did on the outside and you do it on the inside. So then, let me see. Try not to flash you guys. See that? And then you can wear that um, underneath, underneath and it gives you some ruching. If you're worried about your belly, it hides your belly even more. It can give you some more definition. But you can do this in many different places and I challenge you to play around with where you like your ties because everyone has a different body type. And something that looks good on one person might not look as good on the other, but a different thing might look good on them. Just because we have different body types, and with those body types, we're trying to accentuate and um, minimize certain things in our body. But another one that you can do is you can like go at the side, and you can put as much fabric or as little fabric as you want for your ruching. But go to the side and create that little ponytail again and then put it out. And this is super cute and easy too. Now, some people say that they had issues sometimes with the sliding out, because really you could just pull on this and the knot will slide out. So this is the quarter trick that you can try to keep your ponytail where it needs to be. Let me see. Sorry. Okay, so. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do it in a different spot just to show you a different location as well. I'm going to do like belly button. So I have a quarter. I'm going to put that quarter wherever I want the knot to be. And then I'm going to gather the fabric over it. See? So I have it on top. I'm gathering the fabric over it. And then I'm going underneath where I have my little quarter and I'm tying my knot here. This creates it so when I pull, it's not going to go off because I have the quarter. It's going to the quarter's going to keep it there. And then I have this I pulled out some, but um but then you can create ruching in different spots too. And you don't have to just use one ponytail. You can use multiple. Try multiple things and see and see what works for you. While I'm doing the underneath things, let me show you, sorry. I try to go fast so I can show you as much as possible because there's so there are so many things that you can do with knots and a carly. Like we could spend quite a while doing this. So I'm just trying to give you guys the basics. So again, when you're doing the side one, let's say do the side, which I think is super cute. So you do the side one. You can also do something on this side if you like. You could do another one and have it come up. See how this would look? Yeah. 
You can also go to your seam again, where you have your car that you or your seam on the side. And you can also treat the bottom like a trash bag. Pull up. And just tie it on like you would those like hefty bags or whatever that don't have um, the drawstrings. Just and do a double knot so it stays. And then you can tuck in your knots or whatever, however you want to do it. Just play around with it. But you can then bring this up so it's more like a tunic if you wanted to do that. You can, so you can just play with it, different things, but you can have a knot there. Now this, if you have wider hips, this one might not be the best one because this will accentuate because it will get a lot more volume. But it's just an idea to play around with different, um, different techniques and see what you like. And I'm excited to see what you like, so please post it in my shopping group, um, LuLaRoe, Mary Ellen Yates Shopping. That's also my VIP group where we just help each other out, show different things that we're doing, things that we love. And I would love to see what your favorite knots are. So let's see what else. I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. Um, let me, I'm gonna put this on pause for a second and turn my Carly around. Okay, I turned my Carly around. So it's a little um, higher up on the front and a little lower in the back. And then it's higher in the front, lower in the back. Now I think for this, if you're gonna do this and have it backwards. Some things you might want to think about are that you either have a Carly that does not have pockets in the breast, which mine doesn't, or one that really blends in well with the pocket so you don't really notice the pocket. I feel like it looks slightly off for the ones that have like the different colored pocket to have it on the back. But that's just me and just throwing that out there. Okay, so some car um, a lot of the Carlys have a seam going down the middle. So that's a great place to, that's a great spot to use it. So what you can do is you can grab down in the middle. So grabbing, I'm grabbing like halfway down, like probably towards my knees. So I'm going to go to my knees. I'm going to pull it and then I'm going to go in like I did before with the flower knot before. And I'm going to bring it to my body. So this is going to be... I went pretty low, so this is going to be quite a bit of fabric. And again, you can tuck it in if you just want to tuck it in. But you can also do a flower knot in the front if you want to make a big statement to even it out. So I'm flattening it again like I did before. And then I'm doing the elastic band. I think I can only do it once with this. And then you have a cute in the front. And you could even do this where you don't take quite as much. You could do this, and then you could flip it back over and have your flower on the back too, if you'd like to have it on the back. And then, okay guys. Another thing that you can do with your Carly still facing back, um, in backwards, still on backwards, so you still have your line going down the middle, which is super helpful, and you can make a bow. And then you can flip your dress around and have your bow on the back. So how you're gonna do that is you're gonna pick where you kinda want your bow to be. So I probably want it like mid-back. So that's where I'm gonna pick up some fabric. Pick up some fabric. I'm gonna try to keep it on the, um, on the side of the line as close as I can. And then I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull up the fabric until I get the length that I want at the bottom. That's how I'm going to get my the amount of fabric I want. And then when I think I'm pretty close to where I want it, I'm going to use one of my clear elastic bands. And I'm going to make a little ponytail. So I have a little um, ponytail. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I try to make it as um, close together and by side by side as possible. But I'm going to pull 
make my little tuft right next to the line and then also pull up from the bottom. So that's how I'm adding my fabric. I'm pulling up. So that's pretty much the only place you can get it. And then, and then once I feel like I have enough, I'm going to use my another elastic band. And I'm going to make another little ponytail. Okay. And then I can pull up this to get, so I have the same amount of fabric on both sides. And I can pull over, just try to make sure I'm as close to the line as I can be. And as even as I can be with the other one. And now this is a more advanced um, knot tying, so just keep that in mind if you get frustrated. But eventually you'll get to where you feel like you want your bow. Okay, so then once you are where you think you want to be, what you're going to do is you can either, if you're really close to the middle, you can go out or you can also tuck in, so you can do both. I'm going to tuck out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of my little tuft and I'm going to put it, I'm going to tuck it into one of the, um, a little bit of the elastic. I'm going to do that on both sides. So I'm going to kind of flatten it some, like you do with the flower. I'm going to take the end. I'm going to tuck it in underneath one of the rings of the elastic that I'd created from the ponytail. Okay, so now I have those tucked in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fan out my fabric. This might take a while to get exactly how you want it, but you can see how you have a little bow. And I can be a little impatient with this stuff, especially when I'm on camera. <laughs> but this is the gist of the idea. Just keep fanning it out and working it until you get where you want it to be. And then you have it there. See how much more the length is up. And then let me show you what it looks like after. Okay. So then you can see in the back, you can see my bow. And I'm sure you can do even a better job than me because mine's a little crooked, but it gives you an idea. So, and then it, you can see how it brings it in some. It gives me a little more of a waist. So it just changes the shape up some. So it's just another idea of something you can do. And then I want to, I think there's one more thing that I would like to show you. So let me pause this for a second to get ready. Another idea for you when you're doing a carly and not is to um, double up your carlies. So I'm wearing a small and this is a small. You can wear the same size or you could go down on the top layer a size if the bottom size is a bigger size than you often wear. So, see the effect. So whenever you're moving and stuff, you can see the effect of, let me try to move this back just a little more. You can see the effect of the other, um, the other Carly underneath. So that's cool. Um, and it makes it look like it's double lined. And then you can do similar things. So say you... Um, and then you can play with it by taking up the first layer and leaving the bottom layer. So like you can bring it up and then you can twirl it and tie it. And you get this cool look to it, this under look to it. And then if you wanted to, you could add to the other side. And this gives some really cool looks and different dimensions and gives some, gives kind of like a different period kind of look. And you're looking at how they have those um, multiple layers and stuff. So you could do something like that. Obviously, this would need to be a little more over. 
So you can kind of get that layer, and then you have your back that's still down. Um, so there's a lot you can play with by just adding another one. And if it's summertime and you feel like it's a little too hot to do that, um, try it in when it's a little colder. So those are a few ideas for how to do knots. I'm sure there are many, many others. Um, but I challenge you to play around with it and show me your favorite Carly knot. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. So, and then before I go, I just want to show you something quick that you can do with a Julia as well. Hold on a sec. Okay, guys, I'm in my Julia dress. Now, for most of the dresses that I wear, um, I wear a medium. Well, I wear a medium in the Nicole, and that tends to be pretty true to size. And I wear a medium in my top, and um, in most of my in the skirts, I'm a medium. So I'm pretty much a medium overall, medium to a small. So with the Julia, um, because I have a belly and I try to hide it, um, this is an extra large. So I went up two sizes from what I would wear in a Nicole. And so you can see there's a little room, so it's not as fitted, so I feel more comfortable in it. But then you can also um, do some knots um, to help um, disguise, too, if you'd like to, or just to have fun. Now, you could do the quarter technique that I showed earlier with this. This would help keep the um, ruching in its place. But I'm just tying a, a ponytail, and then you bring it down. And then it gives a really cool draping. It hides away from your belly. You can try this in different spots. Another um, idea that I think is cute that you can do is um, with the Julia, they say that you can bring it up as a tunic with leggings. So you can bring it up and do that. Um, and that's how you would do it like that. So for me, since I'm so since I'm short, I prefer doing um, tying both ends. So I'm taking my seams again, like I do with my Carly. I'm taking my seam, and I'm just making a tiny little ponytail, not a big one, just a little tiny one. You see that? It's just a tiny one. And then I'm going to do it to the other side again at the seam. And the tag's there, and I just tuck the tag in so that it doesn't show. So you can see the tag, so I just tuck it in. And I feel like the draping is better when I get, do a little pigtail. You can always tuck in the pigtail, expand it, or whatever. But I feel like the draping's a little better. And then you can you know, drape it over your bed however you would like. And then you have a tunic, that so you can wear your jewelry as a dress or as a tunic very quickly. Um... So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me see your great ideas because LuLaRoe is meant to be fun. So let's have fun with it. And I'm excited to see what you guys have to show me. Bye, guys. Thanks. Remember, it's in my shopping group, LuLaRoe, Mary Ellen Yates Shopping. Um, it's also my VIP group. Talk to you later. Bye.